Birmingham is now known as a new foodie city, and moms just don't have time to cook. So if you're looking for some local down-home Southern cuisine, then pull up a chair for Dining Out with Comedian Joy. That's right, Dining Out with Comedian Joy takes us to some of the best places to eat in Birmingham and its surrounding cities. So whether you're on 2059 East or West, or 65 North or South, or 459 or somewhere in between, Dining Out with Comedian Joy is about to tempt your tummy and make those taste buds water. So if you like your meat three in a brick and mortar or in a gas station, Dining Out with Comedian Joy takes you to some of the best spots in town. This week's Dining Out with Comedian Joy is brought to you by... We need to make an appointment to see the doctor today. Not today? Oh, when is he available? Thursday next week? Yes, I know. The doctor is very busy. I guess Thursday will work. Do you have a morning appointment? We have ballet. I'll take it. Enough with the healthcare waiting game. At American Family Care, you'll be seen on your schedule, not ours. Walk in seven days a week and be seen for a fraction of the cost and wait time. AFC, American Family Care. The right care, right now. All right, everybody. If this doesn't get your toes tapping, then check your pulse. Ba -ba 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 -ba. The joy of cola Joy of bubbles, joy of fun Joy of Pepsi on your tongue Greatest taste sensation under the sun Pepsi Cola If you're a busy mom like me or just a person on the go and you love Italian food, then you need to come over here to Pelham and see my friend over here at Cake Art by Cynthia Bertolone. Listen, she has these fabulous meals to go, plus you can get some sweet treats from a bakery. It's no secret that everyone is super busy these days, but at Cake Art, Cynthia Bertolone makes these awesome, authentic Italian meals that you can just get it and go. This one is chicken our cannelloni. They're rolled up pasta sheet, stuffed with ground beef, spinach, ricotta, and mozzarella cheese. This is our chicken parmigiana. It is um, chicken breast, breaded, um, and baked, and it's over spaghetti sauce with pomodoro sauce. It's layered lasagna sheets, ground sausage, and seasoned turnip greens, and it's in a white garlic cream sauce. If you do find it somebody else, they will not make it right, I guarantee it. Since Cynthia was so confident about her pasta Bianca, my friend Jonathan and I decided to give it a try. A quick race for the camera. Jesus well. Now come on, we gotta dig in. Alright. Come on now. That's how you do it. See, I just met John today. I gotta show him how we do it on the show. Y'all know how I do. I just put it in my mouth, it's so good, I've talked food in my mouth. Mm. What you think about that, John? I love the turnips. I love the turnips. I'm about to ask my grandma why she never made this for dinner. It's like a southern, southern flair on lasagna. Yeah. This is some lasagna Bianca. I'm talking about turnip greens inside your lasagna. I never heard of that. How to do it? I can get my sock on. I can stop with this. We chop it. That's what. That's what I'm saying. That's how we do it on Down and Out with Jordan. It's our tomato basil soup. Um, it's very creamy, very tasty. It's great for a nice cold weather. Uh, these are one of our meals to go that we do. Um, these are our stuffed shells. Uh, we pre-make them here. And then um, and all we do is just kind of assemble them in these little containers. Everything is made here. This is our uh, marinara sauce. Let's put a little bit there and then I put six of these guys. So how long do they need to bake before they're ready? About 35 minutes. About 350. These are our calzones. Um, they're made here. We pre bake them. And you have the option of taking them home and finish baking it. My new friend John, he couldn't even wait for me before he wanted to try the calzone. The dough is what makes it. The dough is what makes it. Mm -hmm. That's right. That is what makes it. Yeah, it's all about the dough, it's all about the pizza sauce, that's what makes our meal. Mm-hmm. Now, you know Comedian Joy, she got to try to see for herself. Oh my God, this is so good. He was right, but I think 
really what makes this calzone is this homemade pizza sauce. It is so good. I'm not even one that likes a lot of stuff, but this right here, this on point, Cynthia. You got it going on. Welcome to the ranch house. What's going on today, man? Yeah. I'm Cornelius Frazier, the executive chef at the American Ranch House in Tarrant. Since being featured on Dining Out with Comedian Joy, our business has picked up about 30%. We tried the radio here for about a month, but it hasn't had quite the success as Dining Out with Comedian Joy. We have people coming in that has never been here before and say, hey, we seen you guys on TV. We didn't even know you guys was there or what you served. But now we know. So that has tremendously paid off for us. But Dining Out with Comedian Joy has really helped us out a lot. I don't know because of that 10% that we're giving off if they say, hey, we, we've seen the show, or if somebody told them to say it, but whatever it is, it sure worked. You would be crazy not to partner up or do a segment on Dining Out with Comedian Joy. And we look forward to working with Dining Out with Comedian Joy in the future. Before the break, we showed you the take-home meals by Cake Art by Cynthia Bertoloni. Now these are some authentic pasta dishes that you can just come in and bake, but no meal is complete without dessert. It's a really quadruple chocolate cake. It's got chocolate cake, chocolate icing that's been whipped up with Nutella. It's got mini chocolate chip and chocolate ganache. Now brace yourself for Cake Art by Cynthia Bertoloni's Strawberry Cake. This is her number one seller. Look at those strawberries. Don't you want to lick? It's uh, cream cheese base, and uh, we just add some our secret strawberry uh, flavoring to it. And if you still don't have a sweet tooth, check out some of the cookies that's made at Cake Art. These are other ways that we do the butter cookie. We roll them up and then we add almonds to these um, butter cookies. Uh, these are also butter cookies. We roll them up and then we um, toss them with powdered sugar. These are butter cookies. We roll it up in coconut and um, you know, we cook these. People love these, especially those coconuts lovers. And what are the customer's favorite desserts? It's lemon. And so how does it taste? Nobody makes lemon like, like Cynthia. Oh, it's excellent. Excellent. My favorite thing here is the cannoli cake. I love the cannoli cake. I go searching for it whenever she's got it, I buy the whole thing. This is and another Italian pastry. It's called cannolis. Okay. And now um, we fill them per order. And there's a reason for that. Okay. The reason for that is that you want to be able to bite into it and have that crunch. Mm. The this on the inside, it is so good. The inside is made out of ricotta cheese, oh, this is so whipped pretty. up with sugar, a little bit of lemon zest, cinnamon, and chocolate chip. I can taste the lemon, and it's creamy, and it's light. And it's light. Mm -hmm. You know, this reminds me of an ice cream, but not quite as sweet. Mm -hmm. Now, another pastry dish that Cake Art is very popular for is its biscotti. Now, making biscotti, I learned, takes about several hours because you have to bake it and then you have to flip it over and bake it again. This is the basic of the biscotti. And this, I can make so many different flavors. I add nuts, I can add craisins, I can add chocolate chip. Uh, I can dip it in chocolate, white chocolate. Um, this is just the basic and it's endless. That's what you can do with biscotti. It's a typical Italian pastry. Not everybody does it fresh. They get it store-bought, but I make it fresh all the time. You know, what do you have sweet? Because I know Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Yes, ma'am. We have a red velvet raspberry bar. Wait a minute, this big old bar is what you having for Valentine's? Yep, amongst other things. Man, listen, that means somebody really got to be sweet on somebody to get this. That's a big old bar right here. It is a bar. Oh, man, and it looks delicious. Now, this red velvet better be right. I, I know red about my red velvet. It's got raspberry. Mm-hmm. All right, now, that's something. You did good this time. Because <laughs> I was nervous that you did good. I love the raspberry. That should bring the flavor out of yeah. it. Yeah. It's got raspberry right on, on, underneath the... um. It's really rich. It's 
fellas, you don't have to worry about what to get your sweetheart for Valentine's Day. Just come on over here and see my good friend Cynthia. Over here at Cake on and Pella. She'll hook you up. She has these velvet bars. Are you going to have some strawberries? I have, I have chocolate covered strawberry, the fruit, and then a chocolate covered strawberry cake. Two layers of chocolate, layers of strawberry, and then chocolate ganache poured all over it. Man, listen, she done took all the work out of it. You ain't even got to think about it. Just come see my girl over here at Cake on and Pella. When we talk about racism, that we all have a little bit inside of us. You can love it, you can hate it. You can bet your bottom dollar, man. We're going to debate today. Let's get ready to go. The discrimination. Now, I get the example of my mom. The Joe Show is the hottest radio talk show on Saturday evenings with Melva Tate, comedian Joy, Uncle Boss, Andre J. Thomas, and the king of infotainment, Joe Lockett. America, you don't want to miss this. Lock it in, 4 to 7, Saturday evenings, WYDE 101.1. And Joe, I just appreciate your show. I appreciate you bringing up these hard-to-discuss issues, but they do need to be discussed. Well, thank you so and much, people, Caroline. And people do need to remember that black lives matter, white lives matter, all lives matter. Four to seven, Saturday evenings, WYDE. Now, normally when you think about tamales, you think about going to Mexico. Well, there's no need to pull out a passport because all you got to do is come to the south side of Birmingham to my friends at Sweet Delta Blues Hot Tamale. Now, Sweet Delta Blues is tucked away here on Cobb Lane. Not only do they serve some amazing tamales and some wings, but they also have some delicious catfish. Delta Blues Hot Tamales serves up authentic pork and black bean tamales. Now, the husband and wife couple brought the taste of Mississippi to the south side of Birmingham. Well, there's a lot of barbecue places here. There's we a love. lot, which we love. There's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of good food in Alabama, but there's not, not anything like this. Making tamales is a seven hour process, but two of their signature dishes isn't just a plain tamale, it's a delicious meal. This is the Raging Cajun. It's also our uh, signature hot tamales, this time covered with red beans and andouille sausage with sour cream and green onions on top. And we have corn mock shoe on the side. Corn mock shoe is very similar to a cream style corn, except for it has different peppers and onions and different spices. Add it with some bacon, and we know bacon makes everything better. Joy, this is our tamale pie. You've got to give it a try. It's really good. Did you say pie? I did say pie. Man, now who can turn down pie? Everybody loves pie, don't they? Mmm. This is so good. You put something sweet in this pie. I think it's. Did you put it in here cinnamon? I think it's got a little bit of cinnamon in there, but I can't give away all the secrets. Man, that's right. You're not getting all the secrets. You know why? Because we got to come down here to Delta Hot Tamales and get some. That's why. Now, are these your famous baked beans? Those are my famous baked beans. I've been making those for 25 years. Long process to those, and they've got to cook for a long time because they're not good unless they've cooked for at least three hours. Three hours at, to make some beans? At least. Man, let me tell you, after tasting these beans, I know how you got your wife. You <laughs> gave her some of these beans, and she said, I do. <laughs> For those of you who do not know how to eat a tamale, grab your paper and your pencil. Here's your lesson. Take it, open it up, and it's... Oh, oh you are rolling. It. Oh, how cool. So then, if I didn't want the toppings on it, I could just eat it straight like Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Mm. Oh, man, this is good. So, is this the pork tamale? That is the pork tamale, and we can, you can get those by the half a dozen or dozen, just like that. Oh, my gosh. Can I get them by the two half dozens and the you three sure dozen? Can, yes. Oh, go. If you don't believe me about the tamales at Delta Blues, just ask the customers. Tamales, they're terrific. So is it the pie or just the plain ones? How do you like yours? I like the tamales anywhere they fix them. Right? One question most people have about hot tamales, are they really hot? It's, it's got some kick to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does have some kick to it. Um, but we think it's good in, in certain ways that we prepare stuff. If you're not one for spicy food, we can tone it down a little bit. And after the break, we'll show you some other foods at Delta Blues that's not as spicy, but still packs a lot of punch when it comes to flavor. I'm Eric Guster. People ask me all the time what their case is really worth. The insurance company said my dad's car accident was worth almost nothing. 
but Eric Guster got us $2 million. Their case is often worth a lot more than the insurance company says. I didn't know my truck case was worth $600,000, but attorney Eric Guster did. That's why it's important to call to find out what your case is really worth. Guster Law, 205-581-9777. This is your girl, Comedian Joy, and I want to tell you about True Southern Smoke Barbecue Sauce. This is good on everything. Now, you can get it at 4th Avenue Grocery Store in Bessemer or TSSBBQ.com. If you're not cooking with smoke, you just bake it. Before the break, we showed you the tamales at Delta Blue's Hot Tamales, but they also serve other items like these fried pickles and chip and dip made with some homemade pimento cheese. Mm -hmm. Look at that, a little bacon, blue corn tortilla chips. This is not just queso, this has pimento cheese in it, so it's a little sharp, you know, for your palate, yummy. Mm -hmm. Now Delta Blues also serves up one of my favorite things. That's right, chicken. But these are not your every ordinary wings. What we do with ours is we par smoke them so that they get the smoky flavor, and then we fry them to, to where they're crisp and they have uh, so they have the best of both worlds. They got the smoky flavor and the crispiness of the buffalo wing. No, that's good. Real good. Mm, mm, mm is that feta cheese dressing right there. That um, creamy feta dressing, there is my, nothing like it. Gosh, I have never had wings like these before and y'all know I know about my chicken. You have got to come down here to Delta Blues Hot Tamales for these wings, oh my gosh. I don't know what's better than wings or tamales. Well, you can get both. You ain't never lie. Oh my gosh, this is so <laughs> good. Man, I'm gonna have to take a swig of this Pepsi right here to hold me together. Oh my gosh, this is good. Listen. I'm I'm gonna need another dozen of these. Okay, we'll get them coming right up. Oh my gosh, listen, you have got to start watching the show and come here and taste this because you know I'm right about my chicken. Oh my gosh. This chicken is off the chain. The smoke flavor, the crispiness, and then the sauce on top of it. Oh my. Another popular dish at Delta Blues is the catfish, and it's served along with this coleslaw and their famous comeback sauce. It's uh, it's kind of like a relative of a remoulade, but it's uh, it's not as chunky as a remoulade would be. But it's yeah, it's, 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 it's Mississippi's version of a New Orleans remoulade. So good, it'll make you come back for more. Well. Okay, you know what? I ain't even leaving. Now, I'm gonna change the name to I ain't leaving sauce. Ain't That's leaving what I'm sauce. calling this. That's even better. You know what? This is a better flavor of rumor Yeah, it is. And our yeah. tradition don't even like sauce with my food because I like to try some flavor. But this is so good. Besides tamales, they also sell a variety of tacos. So what did you have here? I'm having an Italian sausage taco and a catfish taco. So is this your first time here? It's my second. So they got me coming back. So if you have a case of the blues, the remedy for that is come down here to my friends at Sweet Delta Blues. I'm telling you, the tamales are awesome, and this catfish is so good, especially with this comeback sauce. It's so good, I had to rename it Don't Want to Leave Sauce. Mmm, this stuff is amazing. Can't wait to see you here on the south side at Sweet Delta Blues Hot Tamales. Do you need some gut busting laughter that you, your kids, and your pastor can listen to and enjoy? We'll get Comedian Joy, the Queen of Queens, newest DVD live at the Stardome. But y'all, one of, but y'all, one of my favorite all-time televangelists is Joe Osteen. Anybody like Brother Joe? Y'all miss some Joe Osteen. I'm telling you, every time I listen to Joe, I feel like I can speed and hoover and won't even get a T. And when you eat out, don't you want? If you are married, if you're single, even if you're looking for love, Comedian Joy has some tips for you. If you go to church, she's talking about it. All of us know Jesus was the only person who walked the earth and didn't sin. But I'm figuring it out. Say, why, Joy? Because he wasn't married and didn't have kids. <laughs> Don't you know them two combinations make you want to sin? Buy your copy of Live for the Stardom now at www.joythequeenofclean.com. That's www.joythequeenofclean.com. Get it because it's on sale now. That's precocious. For the best catfish po' boys and delicious hamburgers, there's only one place to go in Pelham, Alabama, and that's at my friends at Bama Burgers. This new burger spot in Pelham, Alabama has everyone saying these two words. Bama Burgers! 
That's right, Bama Burgers. Bama Burgers is a new family-owned burger joint that serves a variety of signature hamburgers. First one we're gonna make is our redneck burger. All right, so Ms. Sharon, I gotta ask you, how did you come up with that name? I like rednecks. I like rednecks, but I was in Alabama, we had to have something called the redneck burger. So this is what we came up with. Comes with pimento cheese, a fried green tomato, bacon, and grilled onions. And that is our redneck burger. Joy, you've got to try our redneck burger. Now, a redneck burger, now I saw you making it. It looks so juicy, and who doesn't like anything with bacon in it and then melted pimento cheese? And a fried green tomato. Mm, 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 for real. Oh my God. <laughs> Listen, this is all of this. I'm gonna be like my comedian friend Jeff Foxworth. You might be a redneck if you eat this Bama burger right here. <laughs> I really love all the flavors in here. And this pimento cheese really set it off. Nobody puts pimento cheese on that burger, but my girl Sharon over here at Bama Burgers. You gotta come over here to Pella and get you some of this. We got the best of both worlds. You got the fried green tomatoes, you got the pimento cheese, and you got some bacon on him, and this big old burger. All right, this is it right here. I'm a redneck, woo! Mm, mm, mm. Oh wait, the redneck's about to come out. Oh, do I do it like this? Slave. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, with their sleeve. Right here at Bama Burgers. Bama Burgers' next signature burger is called the Royale. The Royale gets bacon, egg, and cheese, so we'll take the egg. Wait a minute, egg? Egg? So this is like breakfast? Somewhat. Sounds more like a brunch, but it tastes delicious. Finally, if you like a burger with a little kick, then you will love this spicy burger. Uh, the spicy burger consists of uh, a meat patty, uh, our special spicy sauce, bacon, uh, fried jalapeno peppers, and pepper jack cheese. Spicy burger. Joy, you've had the rest. Now I want you to try the best. Oh, this is our new spicy burger. Okay. Don't have a name, but we haven't let the customers name the, pro name, the name today. Oh, this is good. You know what? You make the best juiciest burgers. Like this is spicy. This ain't spicy. My hair's not on fire. Look, my hair's still intact. This burger ain't that spicy. Now, every time I do take another bite of this, I feel the spices in here. I told you it'll build up on you, and the heat'll build up. Man, that's what I'm saying. I just feel the spices just doing like this in my mouth. But guess what? It ain't too hot because my hair ain't sticking up yet. It's still on tight. I hear you. Hey, that's why you're wearing that hat. That's why I'm wearing the hat. You gotta keep your hat on because it's yeah. just that spice in it. Absolutely. Can can anybody come down here to Pelham and ask Miss Sharon what's the secret to the sauce? It's very good. Mm, 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 mm. I'm glad David is gone. I ain't gonna lie. This burger is a little bit spicy, but I'm telling you, ain't nothing like this diet Pepsi to calm it down. Hey, it's hot, but it sure is good. Can't stop eating, y'all. I ain't lying about these Bama burgers. Just ask some of the customers. This is the spicy burger, and this thing is hot and really good. I'm gonna come back, get the big uh, the big Bama, or the spicy burger sounds good too. I'll get that next time, but this is good. This is really good. This your girl, Comedian Joy, and I wanna tell you about True Southern Smoke Barbecue Sauce. This is good on everything. Now, you can get it at 4th Avenue Grocery Store in Bessemer or tssbbq.com. If you're not cooking with smoke, you just bake it. Before the break, we took you to Bama Burgers in Pelham, Alabama and showed you the juicy burgers. But that's not all that they have. How about this hot, delicious catfish po' boy? Okay, this is the bun that the po' boys go on. We gotta run it through the toaster so we can toast it up. So you all toast every... We toast every bun, bread, unless they don't want it toasted. Po' boys get the shredded lettuce. Onion. You put onions on catfish? Oh yeah, you don't want onions? I didn't know you're supposed to put onions on catfish. Oh yes, on a po' boy you get lettuce, tomato, onions, and my secret sauce. That's the catfish po' boy. Try this catfish po' boy. Thank you, hell. 
Man, this looks so delicious when you were back there cooking it. I can't wait to sink my teeth into this. Man, delicious Alabama catfish on her special po'boy sauce. I really love this catfish po'boy. I mean, the po'boy sauce she has on here, I know it's a secret, but this is what makes the po'boy. Mm. Man, this is delicious. I can come here and get my catfish and a good burger. Nowhere else but right here in Pella and Bama Burger. Po'boys come with coleslaw and french fries and a drink. Bama Burgers has it all. They even serve breakfast. We got bacon, we got eggs, sausage, hash browns, biscuits, homemade sausage gravy, pancakes, anything you could want for breakfast from 7 to 10.30, Monday through Friday. Besides the burgers, my favorite treat was this homemade milkshake. They don't come pre-made out of a machine. We actually make the milkshakes. And what flavor do you make? I mean, can you make? Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. Here's your milkshake. There's a vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. All right, so I'm sitting here at Bama Burgers with my new friends, Nick and Shayla. We enjoying some shakes. The burgers are delicious here at Bama Burgers, so I can't wait to sink my teeth down into the shake. We're going to do a toast, guys. Down it off comedian joy. Mm, mm. Man, this shake is the bomb. How's your shake? Great. Good stuff. That's what I'm saying. Shayla, how's your? Amazing. Listen, he can't make shakes as good as Bama Burgers. Can. No. Not at all. <laughs> Guess what? None of y'all at home can't make them that good either. But you come here to Bama Burgers located on Pelham Highway, and they will hook you up just like my new friends, Nick and Shayla. We having a good time. We got to toast again, y'all. That's what I'm saying. That's how we do it on Down and Out Comedian Joy. So come down here and get the best burgers, the best homeboy catfish, and this good old milkshake. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> this is delicious. Need more information? Just go to my blog, Down and Out with Comedian Joy. I got to finish this shake. <laughs>